Hello, Markdale Kids and Us. We are so happy you could join us today for your very own special Winter Wonderland kit. So I'm gonna go over the kit in just a little bit, but I had some interesting things that I pulled out of our education collection that I wanted to share. So with our Winter Wonderland kit, you are gonna get a chance to create your very own Winter Wonderland. So whatever you think would be a part of your Winter Wonderland, you're gonna be able to do it. But I wanted to give you a couple other ideas from the collection. So this, I don't know if you can see my little friend here, is a muff. So my hands can meet in the middle, but this is where they stay warm. And this one is real and very clearly old, but it was just a way instead of mittens that you, a lady could keep her hands warm. And there were also men's muffs, but this one definitely was a lady's. And then we also have <gasps> snowshoes. And I don't know if any of you have snowshoed before, but your snowshoe may not look exactly like this. This is an older set. And as you can see, it is very aged. So this leather would wrap around your boot so the newer snowshoes are just a little bit different, but they also are very interesting visually. So if you think you would like to add some snowshoes, this might be a really good snowshoe type to add to your winter wonderland. So I'm just going to actually set these aside. So in each of your individual kits, there are the supplies you're going to need for the most part. There are two sheets of shrink art material, so pretty much it's just plastic. You're going to have a hoop, some hemp string that has three strands, a wonderful piece of recycled cardboard to hold your thread, and a sheet with ideas. So these are just ideas. You don't have to copy these, but if you like them, you can use them. It is totally up to you. There's also some things you could, ideas, so like snowflakes, hats, gloves, animals. So there is like a little chick with a hat and a scarf, or there's a snow person. You could think about shovels, whatever you wanna do. So what I would suggest doing is think about what you're going to what you like. If there's something that you like, you can start with that, or you can just flip your paper over and draw something out. So I don't have it on the other side, but I would like a snowflake. So I'm just gonna plan out a nice little snowflake here quickly. So it's interesting. And then I'm going to pick one of my sheets of shrink art. And when I do this, I'm going to plan out so I get as many shapes as possible on my sheet. So you can use pencil crayons, you can use markers. Um, I did a quick test that I'm going to shrink later on with some acrylic paint to see how that goes. But I'm just going to plan this one out first using just a quick marker. And the great thing about this shrink art is that it's clear. So you're able to see through and you're able to trace out. So if there's even like a picture in a book in the classroom that you like, you could always use that. Totally up to you. So I'm gonna add a little bit more interesting details. I'm gonna add some hearts. I'm gonna add a rhombus. So, now I have a shape that looks like this. I could leave it just black and the clear, but I want to add some color too. So I'm just going to color on it. And in some of your packages, you're going to have, this one's kind of like a smoky, and then there's this one that's a little rough. So the one that's rough takes to, you want to work on the rough side. That's going to take pencil crayon really well. This one though, because it's soft, it's actually just a little bit softer. It's not quite as sharp, which is really nice to make kind of um, softer images and layer the pencil crayon. 
So don't use regular crayons because those are made out of wax and melt, but pencil crayon, the marker, and then the paint option is supposed to work. So now that I have that, I have a nice snowflake there and I'm gonna do one more shape. I think I'm going to do the boot. Just to show the difference, I'm gonna use the, the sanded one. And I'm just gonna quickly, oh, make this completely bright and not at all realistic, but I'm just gonna throw some colors down. And that's the fun thing that you can do. It doesn't have to be like accurate. You can make completely different colored items that they are normally like just choose anything, whatever looks good to you, you can do it. Because this is your piece of art to make and your piece of art that you're gonna get to hang up too. So, when you're doing your project, you can take lots of time to do this. You don't have to rush through it. Bam. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a gray just to kind of outline. So there we go with the boot. Now, now that this step is done, I am gonna cut it out. And when you're cutting it out, you just have to keep an eye out for where you're going to put your hole because you're gonna to need to punch a hole into your object. So with this boot, I am actually gonna punch into the fluffy part at the top. So I'm gonna do that before I forget. And there we go. And it needs to be a regular size hole punch. Otherwise, it's not going to be big enough for you to thread the thread through, and hang it up on your mobile. So now that I have that, if you are very conscientious and want to get the most out of your sheets, you can always keep the scraps because you could punch a hole in it and still color lots more. So here is my boot. And then, can't forget my snowflake. So for this one, I'm gonna kind of go in and out. So it has that snowflake shape, but you could follow the lines really closely. You can make it just squares, whatever you want to do. But again, you need to remember to punch a hole. So, you can just look at it. Every one I do is different, so I'll just punch right beside that rhombus. There we go. So I'm gonna have those on a sheet for the oven. So the oven gets set to 300 degrees or 350 degrees if your oven's a little cool. I always put parchment down and we are gonna show a clip of it shrinking but just always be safe and make sure an adult is helping you. Now that we have our wonderful shrink art pieces, I'm only gonna do the three, you're gonna start assembling your mobile, your hoop. So in your package, you'll have a hoop. They're all different sizes. Um, I kinda like the smaller ones, but I took a bigger one. And then you're gonna have that hemp string. So before we attach the shrink art to the hoop, we're gonna add this because eventually, this is my summer one. You're gonna have your pieces hanging down and that's the part that's gonna hang that you'll be able to like 
hang on a hook or somewhere in your house. So that's very important. But so it's got the three strands and I don't know if any of you are very good at knots, but all I try to usually do is a double knot, or you could do a reef knot, which is right over left and under, and then left over right and under. So it's kind of like the first knot for when you're tying your shoes times two. And then we get to do math and think about the circle as a whole, and we need to divide it into thirds. So if you are a very particular person, you could kind of lay it out and figure out how long it is, the circumference, and figure it out that way, or I'm just gonna eyeball it. And so I'm going to, again, do right over left and under or not. <laughs> there we go. So now I have two out of the three. And now I'm just going to figure out where that last third is going to go and make sure it's kind of going to hang straight ish. And you'll be able to reposition these because the reed that the hoop is made out of is fairly smooth, so you can reposition the strings if you need to. So there we go. Happy with that. So now that this is done, I'm going to be able to attach the three pieces. So what I have in your kits is just simple um, thread. So there is a lot of length in here. So it's up to you what, how, what you want it to look like. If you want them all to be long, I'll show this one. If you want them all to be the same length, because then that's when they can hit each other and, you know, be like a wind chime, or you can have them at different heights so they don't do that. It's just kind of whatever you want to do. So I'm just going to start with cutting some lengths. And again, because it's just simple thread and you have those wonderful holes punched into your plastic, you'll be able to thread them up. And again, I'm just gonna do a double knot. Just kind of work with what you have, what you're thinking, because each one of these mobiles is going to be unique because this is your very own winter wonderland. And so now that I have at least my snow piece connected, I am just going to trim off that little bit. And then I'm just gonna pick a spot. So I might get a little fancy and wrap it around twice. If there's other things that you have around your classroom or if you have other things at home that you would like to use, you could use like embroidery floss. Um, there's like cord that's clear called illusion cord or like fishing line but as you can see there's my little guy spinning around and then I'll be able to do that with the next two. You can make them bigger um, so that's why you have the two sheets of the um, shrink art because you can create a ton of different things with those two pieces. So you could do some smaller pieces. You can maybe do a picture that's like half of one of the sheets or a quarter of one of the sheets, whatever you want to do. Because again, this is yours. You get to make all the decisions. It's one of those things where we're always happy to see what kind of things you can create with the crafts that we put together. And we really hope that you have a fun time doing it. So I'm just gonna add this last one here, and then I'm going to keep creating and see what my mobile is going to end up like. And there we go. So I'm off to a great start, and I hope you are all gonna have a great time creating. So thank you so much for joining us, Markdale Kids and Us. So I have, 
My mobile started. I'm gonna keep working on it, but I hope that all of you have a really great time working on your own winter wonderland. And if you have any questions at all, don't forget to reach out to us, or if you wanna show us your wonderful winter wonderland, you're also welcome to share it with us. You can email Bray Roots, or you can get in touch with us on social media. So thank you again.